Welcome to this very special In Conversation With, uh, as today I'm joined by Foundation of Light Chairman Sir Bob Murray and founder of the Harrison Centre for Social Mobility, David Harrison. So, gentlemen, uh, today you might be said to have come from ordinary uh, backgrounds. Was that how it felt growing up in concert and new Kyle? Uh, no, not really. I had a very happy childhood, great parents. Oh, I had very, <coughs> uh, very good parents, uh, very lucky really. Uh, only one. I was told I was the only one because I could only afford one. Uh, cutely conscious that we didn't have much money, but I never went without really. So I was going to work at Cancer Steelworks. So I knew I was going to go there, but I didn't know what I was going to do. So when I started, I turned up with the personnel department to find out where I was going to work. They told me to come back next summer. So I, I was uh, unemployed for a year. There was no unemployment benefit. No. There was no benefit at all, so I would have to walk four miles to the youth employment office at Black Hill yeah. on the side and walk back. I'm expected, you know, to leave school at 15, expected to come home with a wage and being told, you know, to come back a year later. I just felt like a total burden on my parents. I went to concert like university like you did. Right. <laughs> the technical <laughs> college. Technical college. <laughs> and, uh, I failed at school, I had one all level and uh, I had no skill or any ability in anything else so uh, I started to study at Concert Technical College on evenings and education saved and turned my life around. Most people just want a chance in life and that's why we've got this place and this generous man here. He had, had a choice of apprenticeships but what I, what I wanted to do was go to sea. Uh, when I went to Concert Grammar uh, Concert uh, for uh, an interview one of the things they did was give me an eye test and they discovered I was colour blind which meant if you went in the Navy you had to go below decks and also you couldn't be an electrician otherwise that could have been really interesting but <laughs> I ended up thinking oh, I'd become a mechanical engineer and I had no interest whatsoever in becoming a mechanical engineer. I was, I was just really fortunate to um, have this really bad experience and turn it into a positive. That's why you know I'm, I'm Chancellor of a, a, a big university and this, this beautiful place here that changes people's lives, just giving people a chance in life and education. I agree with Bob regarding education. I think it can make a breakthrough and give you confidence. Well, we've <coughs> seen 7,000 people a week through the door here. It takes £100,000 a week to run it, which is cheap, because the value that we produce is a million pounds. This is what David said. Uh, the output of the place is phenomenal all through uh, what the people here do. I think the future here is the next 5, 10, 20 years is going to be far better because we've got an asset here for 100 years. I think to be involved with something like this is very privileged. Here there is a warm welcome and the kids that come here and some of them are grown up kids. But some it's the last chance to move. Uh -huh. The people handle them great, They're very, very straightforward with them. And what we've said all along, our job is to help you get a job. Your job is to keep that job and don't pack it in until you get a better job. Thank you both so much uh, for your time, um, Sir Bob and, and David. It's been a, a fascinating insight into your backgrounds and, and how um, those backgrounds have shaped the important work that uh, you're both doing to support Northeast communities. If you'd like to find out more about the work of the Foundation of Light, uh, please visit www.foundationoflight.com dot co dot uk